Hi guys, Mark Wood here. Hey, um, I have a new model that uh, I want to show you. Uh, this is actually has been flying for a while. I'm calling this airplane a uh, Frankenlaser profile. Uh, Frankenlaser comes from a, an airplane I designed uh, four quarter, full size, and that that airplane has uh, <clears throat> attributes to it that uh, I learned from flying the laser that I wanted to change. And so uh, my situation changed a bit in my life and I don't uh, have the resources to build full-size airplanes anymore. So I'm building control line planes. This model is electric powered. It's a Cobra 2820-12. And this is a uh, 970 kV motor. Uh, uses a four cell battery pack battery pack I'm using is an 1800 milliamp pack uh, 65C which is a pretty pretty sturdy battery it'll provide quite a bit of quite a bit of power um, I've flown this with the with the Cobra 2820 uh, 10 I believe it is uh, it uses the <coughs> three cell pack the three cell pack you need to have uh, 2200 milliamps to provide the power for a, a, a flight both both motors fly the airplane just fine. So, <clears throat> if you look inside, the speed controller sits right underneath the battery pack, uh, which that feature I, I like quite a bit. <clears throat> I designed in it, designed it that way um, in order to have enough room for everything to fit in the plane. <clears throat> this hatch. Um, has enough ventilation to get uh, get it get the air uh, airflow going through the cowling well enough to cool cool the motor and the battery pack. There's also cooling right behind the spinner here, so this the spinner is done this way as an annulus uh, to pass through uh, air into the cowling. Is also with this uh, other cheek cow. The the cheek cows are done this way in, uh, because I really kind of like the horizontal engines. Um, the kind of view, you know, the sport sport plane kind of thing. <clears throat> Get this guy hooked up. Get the stooge going. <clears throat> check it to make sure that it works and it does this stooge is uh, a product that I have on my website that you can you can purchase um, same with the electric pod that is on the, fin of the front of this airplane <clears throat> and uh, the airplane uh, eventually will be offered as plans. I'm gonna reset this camera just a little bit so that you can see when I fly it. <clears throat> that should do. Make sure my iPad is out of the way. <clears throat> Get my control lines. The flying field is in kind of bad shape. I haven't mowed in a week. And uh, the uh, grass has grown up on the other side of the ditch here. Which if I, if I mow it early enough and soon enough, it um, <clears throat> is manageable. But uh, this year I haven't been taking the mower down into the ditch there to keep that grass in, in, uh, at bay. Start this. We'll see if I can pull this off. I went with uh, the uh, conventional landing gear on this plane because uh, some of the guys that I fly with have a have a little bit of a hard time launching the airplane with uh, just the monowheel on it. And so I went I went to the um, 
conventional gear to help them. That wasn't as sketchy as some of my takeoffs. And uh, I gotta make sure that I stay clear of those, could you clear that grass right there. <coughs> I tell you what, I really like this electric stuff. Right through the sun. And this airplane actually works really quite well. Um, I don't know exactly what I would do to improve it. The tail volume is uh, pretty good. Uh, it kind of cruises through the maneuvers. Flew that one a little high, followed that one on with another one really, really high, kind of drifting up really, really high in this. <clears throat> Probably because I'm talking, talking and flying. Talking and flying is a little bit of a, a little bit of a challenge. Part of it is that tree kind of makes me a little nervous. Flying that tree behind me, behind the airplane's flight path. Not really sure how long I've got the motor set for. I've been doing trim flights, so uh, it may be set for, um, you know, just a couple of minutes. <clears throat> As you can see, the airplane flies really, really, really well. Um, I'm really liking this guy. Uh, it doesn't it doesn't handle the squares quite so good. It uh, does a little hinging out there, and uh, I spent a little time trying to sort it out. There's a little bit of twist in the wings. That's probably part of the problem. <clears throat> got a little close to, to the grass there. That's it. I'm gonna start whipping now because I need it, need the energy to get it, get it back in because the motor just now shut down. Here we go. I gotta land on my neighbor's yard because it's because it's got the smooth grass. So this is the Franken laser, Franken laser profile. Um, this is one step in the road I've got going. Um, I plan on building this into a uh, full-on stunter, full profile, a full full fuselage stunter with flaps and that kind of stuff. This one was uh, I built it to uh, test the airfoil and uh, the whole configuration thing, see how it works. And uh, I'm really, really happy with it. Um, <clears throat> not many things I would change on this profile model. On the on the um, stunt model, this tail, the stabilizer will get moved, it get uh, a little bit larger in span. But you know the profile fuselages, you know they got just a little bit of wiggle in them, and uh, so the bigger stabilizer is uh, not an asset. Um, you, it's as much of a uh, um, liability as it is an asset. But as you saw, the airplane uh, actually flies quite well. It's had a couple accidents. Uh, the very first flight, there was a twist in the wing, and um, uh, the wind was blowing pretty hard, and it came in and went in on the nose and uh, broke, broke the nose off up here. And then um, <clears throat> one day I was flying and I was trying to get in on the pad right here and it caught the edge cut the edge of the cement <laughs> broke it yeah so anyway um, 
life is good. We'll uh, see you on another video.